Okay, that's better. That's better. We're starting a little bit early today. Hello, friends and family, and how are you doing today? I'm praying that the Lord is alive and well in you, full of faith, and um, that your day is going well. It is hot out there today. And I pray you're not working in this stuff. But if you are, I'm sorry. Drink a lot of water. Hit the shade if you can. Or if you're by the water, you're probably doing okay. You're probably happy as, as, a, as a duck on a pond. <laughs> Those guys are happy often. They're, they're always happy. Except when they get shot at. It's probably a bad, bad day for them. I don't want to imagine. Anyway. Today, it's found us in Romans chapter 13. Chapter 13. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Do yourself a favor and accept that free gift that God has given right there. It's already ready for you in his son. He's given it to you in his son just for you, for eternal life. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. There's no better gift in all the world. Well, I've got a mess behind me, all the stuff I've got to get caught up on. Anyway, I just want to say praise the Lord for you. Thanks for joining me today, if you can. And um, any time that we get to come together is a good time. Amen. But let's just dive right into Romans chapter 13. We got to to make it kind of short, sweet, and simple today, just like we always do. Maybe a little shorter than usual, though. But uh, we don't want to be short to, to give chapter 13 its due. There's a lot here that we need to look into. Uh, let's check it out. You guys ready? It says, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. I wanted to add that. That's the most important thing for sure. That was uh, from yesterday's study, chapter 12, verse 21. And then we can go into 13. Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God. And the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Ooh, what about the authorities that are going to eventually lead us away from God? Are we to follow that? Well, we can't do that. we got to stay true to the Lord, for sure. So it says, Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. So when they're doing good works... This, these rulers are set forward to do that good thing um, and to do fulfill the will of the Lord. When then that is happening, then that's when we are need to line up with it. So standing up against the blue and things like that, having rights against police, no, this is something that shouldn't be done. I understand there, everybody, you know, there are some that are standing up for wrongdoing and those who are doing wrong need, need to face justice. But the whole um, needs to, everybody needs to stand up for what is right. It says, therefore, whoever resists the authority, resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. That is a true story. True story. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of the authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same, for he is God's minister to you for good. But if you do evil, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For if you do evil, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain, for he is God's minister and avenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil. <laughs> Is being set up to do good. This is the government that's being set up to do good and to do justice. This is good things in the sight of the Lord. And we are to follow that and to line up with those things. Therefore, you must be subject not only because of wrath, but also for conscience sake. For because of this, you also pay taxes, and that is what we are to do. Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and give unto God what is God's. Amen. For they are God's ministers, attending continually to this very thing. Render therefore to all their due, taxes to whom taxes are due, customs to whom customs, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Owe no one anything except to love one another. 
That's a good debt. For he who loves another has fulfilled the law for the commandments. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not covet. And if there is any other commandment, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Praise the Lord. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. And do this, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly, as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, never arguing with each other, never entering into, never going out and, and doing those things we used to do in the world, partying and such, and now coming into righteousness. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust. When we're doing that, when we're doing those things to turn away from all the ways of the world and the lust of the flesh, then we're walking on that narrow path and carrying our cross for sure. Well, as I promised, it's sure, sweet, and simple today. And I'm praying <laughs> in just a few minutes. I, you got to love sometimes those little short ones, right? But, um, you know, some, some folks are talking about how there are ministers today who are going to be lining up if things get going crazy and directing the masses to line up with the government. Um, when the government is, is um, doing things that's going to be against the people. And we've heard rumors of those things. Um, but I know it's not going to be happening here. I'm not going to be directing anybody to, to follow things that are against God. And I'm not going to direct anybody to do something that would hurt yourself or your family, as far as I can help it. Um, but anyway, we all have to stay diligent, stay aware of what's going on around us. There are powers lining up all around us that we need to be aware of. And the powers that be would like to see everybody in a cage, especially all those that believe uh, in in Christ, naming that Jesus is the only way. There are some powers, not the powers that be, but I mean, there are some powers in the world that are fully against Christianity and fully against the ways of God. And if the devil had his way, that he's the one who would rise up and put us all in a box and then be done with. Christians and Jews alike, no doubt about it. But we've got to continue to pray Pray for our people and pray for our churches. This is an interesting thing this morning. I woke up early and the Lord put heavy on my heart to pray for the church and the people of the church and to call a solemn assembly and a solemn fast. And that's continually out there. I, everybody now is, is uh, being directed in that manner. And it's just the movement of the Spirit to do this thing for our protection and for salvation, no doubt. Well, I'm praying that you guys will do well, and may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace. In the name of the Prince of Peace, Yeshua HaMashiach. I'm going to go see what this old dog's barking at. <laughs> you guys have a blessed day, and above all else, love each other and trust in Jesus.